Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power System Protection Testing using Omicron Test Universe modules and tools. In this video, we'll explore one of the most powerful and flexible testing tools in the Test Universe, the State Sequencer module. State Sequencer module is one of our general test modules, and this module allows us to define and run a sequence of customized test states, each with a specific voltage, current, and binary condition to simulate a realistic protection uh, scenario. So we will see how to configure each state, set the transition uh, triggers, and perform automatic time assessment to evaluate the related performance. So let's get started and see how the state sequencer can make a complex protection testing both efficient and precise. Simply, we can add a state sequencer module and open the module from here, from the start page of the Test Universe software, or we can add the state sequencer test module to insert it to the existing test document. Here is the test document. You can simply insert the test module from the insert tab and choose the state sequencer module. Then click OK, or you can import it from a file if you have an existing test plan. Then simply you can name or rename the state sequencer module to be, for example, trip time for I greater and I double greater over current stage. Then you can simply double click the test module to open the state sequencer module. So as you can see, the state sequencer test module allows us to create and execute a customized test sequences by defining a series of states, state number one, two, three, and four, each with a specific current voltage, frequency, and phase angles. Additionally, the binary output also can be assigned for each state. Also, the transition between the state can occur automatically based on the time delays, binary trigger signals, or manual user interaction, as we will see to enable us for a flexible and uh, complex testing uh, scenarios. This versatility makes the test sequencer ideal for testing uh, realistic protection functions such as the trip time for uh, stages like uh, I greater and I double greater in over current protection, switch on default, auto closure, and circuit breaker fail protection. So the test sequencer module is structured to let you define and organize a series of test states that the CMC output sequentially, for example, state one, state two, state three, state four, and you can simply rename each uh, state just to give it a, a meaningful uh, name, such as a brief vault for the state number one, uh, I greater trip time for the low set stage in the state number two, pre fault again uh, in the state number uh, three, and I double greater trip time for the high set uh, over current stage. So it provides a key views to help you configure and analyze each uh, state. And we have uh, different views. As you can see, here is a, a table uh, view. So it gives you an overview of all defined states showing their output values and allowing you to uh, name or rename uh, each uh, state. Detail uh, view used to configure each state in depth through uh, multiple tabs. We have the analog output uh, tab where you can set the voltage and current values either directly or through a calculated uh, parameters, as you can see here from uh, the set uh, mode, such as uh, symmetrical uh, components or uh, fault impedance to ensure a realistic uh, fault uh, simulation. For example, if you are simulating phase-to-phase -phase fault, you have to make sure that the phase angle between the, phase, the faulty phases to be 180 uh, degree. We have also the binary output uh, tab where you can define which binary output are active during the state by simply uh, clicking close or uh, open per uh, state. We have also the uh, trigger tab where you can set the transition condition between states such as binary uh, inputs or uh, time uh, delays. And we have the uh, general uh, tab to allow you to synchronize or the test start using the GBS or IRIGB and to start the test condition immediately or uh, on time trigger using the uh, uh, CMGBS or IRIGB uh, pulses. So this structure provides both flexibility and uh, precision to enable you to simulate a complex protection scenarios step uh, by step. More in details about the trigger tab in the detailed uh, view, you can define the conditions that control when uh, a state ends and the next state uh, begins, which known as a trigger uh, condition, and you can determine how the sequence progress through each defined state. So you can choose from three uh, main uh, types. For example, in the state number one, we are choosing the user interaction, and simply you can define the interaction here to give uh, the user to have a manual interaction then click OK, it will proceed to the state number two, three, and uh, four. Also, uh, you have different options. So uh, you, can define, uh, you can define the uh, state termination to be a binary uh, input. So you can use the binary input trigger condition. So the state will end when a specific binary condition is uh, met, for example, when the relay issue a uh, trip uh, signal. We have also a timeout, which is the time trigger. So the state automatically ends after a defined time has uh, elapsed, or both of them 
uh, binary input plus the uh, time, a combination of both, so the state will end either when the binary uh, condition occurs or when the maximum uh, time expires, whichever happens first. So this flexible triggering system allows you a precise control over the uh, test sequence and make it ideal for a dynamic protection testing where the timing and event detection are critical. In the time assessment view, in the state sequence view, allows you to measure and automatically evaluate the time intervals between different states or trigger events, for example, to determine the trip time of the protection relay. So this view provides a clear uh, overview of all measured uh, times, helping you to verify the relay performance uh, match as the expected uh, uh, operation uh, criteria. And this result can also be automatically assessed against uh, predefined limits and included directly in the test report to ensure efficient and accurate documentation of your test uh, results. So simply here, you can define the criteria for evaluating the test result, specifically the expected uh, trip time for the, each protection stage. For example, uh, in the first assessment here, the tip signal is expected to be 100 milliseconds for stage two, which is a high set uh, over current uh, stage. So after the start, you can define here to ignore before state number uh, four. High uh, I double creator trip time high, uh, and the start also will start with the state number four, and the stop here will be with the binary input uh, trip uh, change it from zero to uh, one. Uh, on the other hand, for the uh, I greeter, which is uh, available in state uh, number uh, two. Here is the first set point. So the uh, trip signal is expected to be 500 milliseconds after uh, the start of stage number uh, two. So we can define the start uh, and the stop condition, and also we can define the T nominal and the T deviation plus or minus, which is the allowed uh, or the accepted uh, tolerance based on the relay technical uh, specification. So uh, this defined assessment point allows the test sequencer to automatically compare the uh, measured value in the uh, T uh, actual with the expected uh, value based on the uh, deviation uh, criteria to enable accurate verification for each protection stage timing. So here, as you can see, we have the home ribbon as we uh, we have in the old test uh, modules, but we have here a static output if you need to uh, output this value for uh, a long time without any need for uh, making a, a sequence. Also, we have here the state uh, navigation power as you can see from here, so here is the state number three, here is the state number two, so you can navigate the state from uh, here, or you can delete uh, the state as you like uh, from uh, here. Also, we have a time assessment if you need to add a time assessment here to be uh, number uh, three, you can add it uh, from uh, here, and also you can add a state before or a state uh, after, or you can append a state, or you can add uh, impedance uh, shot in, in case if you have the impedance plan, as you can see here from the impedance uh, view, you can add uh, impedance uh, shot based on the uh, line lens, based on the fault loop and uh, the constant impedance current source from the analog output uh, from uh, here. You can define the set mode also to be impedances based on the constant current, constant voltage and constant uh, source impedance. So simply we have in our test, we have four states. One, first one is the uh, brief fault for the normal uh, loading, then second one for the low set over current stage I greeter, which is, is expected to be uh, 500 millisecond, and we are linking this value to be double the nominal uh, value. So we have the first stage 1.8 ampere nominal uh, uh, value. So multiplied by two, it will equal to 3.6 ampere. Also, we can do the same here for the uh, time. So we can link this value to be automatically adapted. If you have any uh, changes in the relay parameter uh, setting, you can adapt it from here. So we can multiply this value by 1.5. So it will give, uh, it, will, it will equal to uh, 7. 750 milliseconds. Also, in the same way, we can do it in the brief fault or uh, the second stage of the overcurrent IW greater high set. By uh, you can multiply this value by 1.2, so to uh, equal 7.2. And also, the time it can be multiplied by the expected trip time multiplied by two, which equal to 200 uh, milliseconds. Also, you can do the same links here using the link to X-ray uh, features, which allows you to have automatic uh, test plan, uh, which automatically adapted to the uh, new uh, relay parameter setting. Also, you can do it for the uh, tolerance, as you can see from here. then simply start uh, the test. As you can see here, the state number one is defined by the uh, user interaction. So I ha uh, you have to click uh, continue. And the state number two is defined by the binary input or the timeout, whichever happened uh, first. Then uh, state three is a brief fault. State four is defined by the binary input again, which is a trip uh, signal to be uh, changed from zero to one. And here is the actual results compared to the nominal uh, uh, value, nominal parameter uh, setting, and it's accepted based on the uh, relay uh, accepted uh, tolerance and based on the relay technical uh, specification. 
Also, you have here a state assessment. If you need to measure the time between state number one and state number two, you can define it uh, here, and it will give you uh, uh, the time uh, between state one and state two, or state two and state uh, three, also in the state assessment. Thank you.